Hi. What's happened? Gary Windass is what's happened. It's nothing. Nothing? Your mother's soft-headed enough to give him another chance. Walks into the Rovers and there's some tart all over him. Oh, we should never said anything now. What, are you kidding? In the place that you actually work, did you not think that Eva or Toya would notice? That's exactly what I said. I mean, obviously, it doesn't give a hoot. Right, let's just change the... Change the subject now, shall we? Well, I hate to say I told you so. OK, how was uh, work? Oh, yeah, your mum said you got some shifts in a restaurant in town. Where is it? Uh, Northern Quarter. You wouldn't know it. Anyway, I'm gonna go up and get a shower because Craig's coming round. Um, Mum, he's a cheat. You're better off without him. When you think, darling, I can't believe I nearly left this lot out overnight. Who was that? <sighs> Gary. Probably drunk. Mom, you can't have anything to do with him anymore. All over girls he doesn't even know. Well, how do you know he doesn't know her? Just presuming from what you said. You know what? I don't even care who she is. It's... It's done. I'm just... I'm finished. I'm going for a bath. So I don't want any of your bang-bang music down here, thank you. I want a nice, long relax. I'm not going anywhere, and you're certainly not going back to that club. Actually, I am. And you're just going to have to deal with it because you know what? I like it. Yeah, I like being a lap dancer. You know what? Mum, please. So when did this happen? Where? Oh, please don't tell me you take all your clothes. Mum, please, can you just let me deal with it? No, it's fine. I've heard enough. No, but flaunting yourself like that. Not listening. Oh, flipping well are listening. Do you think it's all right, do you? To get a perfectly decent man beat to within an inch of his life? Decent? Do you know what? People make mistakes. We all make mistakes. I'm looking mistakes. at you. We all make mistakes. I'm looking at you. You're my daughter, and I feel like you're a complete stranger. <sighs> so you and you, is it back on? No, or... I don't know. I, d I don't know what to do about him or her. Yeah, well, forget about him. Your daughter's far more important. Just put this in the no back. No one touches me, no one hassles me. I'd be in more danger on a night out in town. And anyway, most of the men are married or about to be, so why would they cause trouble in a lap dancing club? So dancing half naked for men is OK? Mum, is you're not helping. No, I'm not the one you should be shouting I'm at. Not shouting at you. I'm just saying, unless you've got something constructive to say. A constructive? How am I meant to be constructive about my granddaughter exposing herself to anyone with the money to pay for it? Well, I'm going with you like it. No, not. you're not. You need to back off. Oh, well, I did that once before. Do you remember? Because you didn't want me upsetting Nathan. Yeah, look where that got you. <sighs> you did so, Mrs Adams, so I was quite surprised. Well, you want to do something different for your 80th, don't you? Well, it could be a daughter put her up to this. I mean, a woman of her age gone into space. It's not actually space, ma'am. They just recreate the experience. I saw it on telly. Gail, she gets car sick on a trip to Morecambe. What's she going to be like going into zero gravity, huh? Oh, sweetheart. Oh, I am sorry. Listen, you're worried about Beth and Mimi banging on about zero gravity. No, it's not Bethany. You know it. About zero gravity. No, it's not Bethany. You know it's Santa's sentencing today. Oh, my goodness, of course it is. Oh, I still can't believe she did it. I was thinking maybe I should go and. Support Gary. What do you think? Oh, yeah, you could sit next to his pregnant girlfriend and hold hands. Oh, Bethany, for goodness sake, have a heart. It's her heart I'm thinking of, thank you very much, even if she's too blind to see it. Right, I'm going into town. Oh, right, so you're not going to uh, your club today, then? You don't have to say it like that. It's actually very nice. And no, day off. But, Mum, I know I can't stop you from seeing Gary, but I mean it. If you start up with him again, well, I just can't be here to watch. Sorry. She might have a point about Gary. No, no, no. She can't give in to blackmail, especially from her own daughter. I mean, that is not an example to set. To be honest, I'm more worried about this so-called very nice lap dancing club. I can't force her to stop working there. Fat old men ogling her, drooling into the beer. Not slept for worrying. Oh, I don't know what to do. But I do. And we can't let this happen, right? Now, Bethany isn't working there today, so I suggest the three of us go down to this club and see what we're dealing with. 
Hmm? Mel's a big job. What kind of name is Tassels? Do you know, I am sure this place used to be an Italian restaurant years back. What was it called? 20 quid to get in. It's scandalous. It's on the tip of my tongue. Now, what was that uh, Brotherhood of Man song? Save all your kisses for me. Oh, Gail. What kind of Italian restaurant's going to be called that? <laughs> People coming here at this time of day. It's only just turned 12. Oh, yeah. Well, it is lunchtime. Come on, I suppose to some people it beats having a yogurt at your desk. Oh, ladies. Hello. I can get you a nice table. We're not busy. Oh, thank you. I don't suppose you get many groups like us in here. You'd be surprised. I'm Lulu. Oh. Do you think we could uh, have a wine menu, Lulu, love? I'll send a girl over. Oh, no, no. We don't want a lap dance for the drinks. Sorry. Do you not think it's a bit early for a drink? Oh, believe me, sweetheart, I think we're going to need it. Oh, thanks for coming in. Belle's got a dick in town. Oh, it's fine. I was in town anyway. Ali looks like she's about to drop. <laughs> so what was the file, baby? With the girl in the bar, and she's studying law at uni. Angela. Oh, that the name of this place when it was an Italian restaurant has been bugging me, it really has. Ma'am, we're here to see if this is a suitable place for Bethany to work in. Not another chapter in the many faces of Aldrich. You know, it was the first Italian restaurant I'd ever been in. I felt so sophisticated. <laughs> oh, come on, let's have another bottle for old time's sake. I'm, I'm really actually quite enjoying it. No, I know where I am. Oh, I've seen the prices. Sweetheart, it's OK, it's my treat. Some treat. Oh, it's not really that bad, is it? Oh, please, we have no idea how the girls are treated. Everything OK? Those heels look like they're killing her. Oh, Ali's a pro. In fact, she has trouble wearing flats. And she's been on a long time. We had a girl go off sick. They get regular breaks, you know. But now I'm wondering why you're so interested. You're definitely not the police, because my radar's pretty good. Well, um, the thing is, uh, Lulu, my daughter's writing a book, and um, this is research. About dancers? Yeah. What's it called? Dancer. Yes, but with an exclamation, you know, more punchy. I mean, dancer. <laughs> Lulu, what's this? For an Italian restaurant, here. Figaro's. Figaro's. Oh, thank you. I knew it was a Brotherhood of Man song. I've been saying Angelo's. <laughs> I actually think I can almost say for certain that on this very spot, I tasted my first courgette. Could we have another bottle of Pinot, please? I'll send it over. Was writing a book for. Well, I had to think fast. And what was that about a courgette? Come on, we've seen the place now. What are we doing here? I've left my little boy with Mary while I'm drinking in a lap dancing club. We've seen the place. It's not too bad, is it? And it's very clean. Yeah. And Lily seems all right, actually. Lulu, can we just go, please? No, we've ordered another bottle now, don't we? Anyway, come on. We'll just have one more, right? Because we're here now. Up like that. Almost vertical, actually. <laughs> Did you want to? It was a party trick. She tried it at my 12th birthday after too much wine and fell into the cake. <laughs> Talking of which, do you think we do bar snacks? Because I'm starving. Well, I wouldn't take any peanuts in a bowl from a place like this. Why not? Can you imagine where people pounds have been? Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Geraldine, that's all I... Well, we can't go out without a zero. No, I'm with Sarah. It's too much. Mum? Gran? Hey, darling. What are you doing here? Uh, well, we just thought we'd come and have a look. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure it was... It was my idea, Bethany, love, so don't go blaming your mother. Well, how could you? Because I'm worried, darling. Of course I am. These are yours, I take it. 
My mum, my gran and my great gran. Oh, nothing like a family day, yeah. We just wanted to come and check the place out, that's all. I don't care if you came to admire the wallpaper, love. Madison, my office now. Madison? Do you know Claudia had an Alsatian called Madison? <laughs> right, you ladies should leave now. You're bad for business. You can pay for your wine on your way out. Madison, now please. If you have ruined this for me, I will never forgive you. She has sex. Oh, well, I can stay here now. You've ruined my life. Oh. Look, you can't be beholden to the whims of your children. Listen, sweetheart, when you're a parent, you have to put your foot down, right? I cannot believe you. Well, you can't blame me for wanting to see where you were. Listen, sweetheart, if you worked in a pet shop, you wouldn't mind if she came down to look at the hamsters. How many glasses of wine have you had? Well, I hope you're happy, because you've got me sacked from the only decent club in town. Well, that Lulu should be pleased. She's at least a hundred quid up after our little excursion. A hundred and fifty, thank you, with a tip. First of all, it was Craig showing up every time. At least a hundred quid up after our little excursion. A hundred and fifty, thank you, with a tip. First of all, it was Craig showing up every five minutes, then Gary coming down and kicking off, and then you lot showing up today and causing a massive scene. Well, to be honest, if you put it like that, I'm surprised she kept you this long. Yeah, maybe it's for the best, eh? Doesn't mean I'm going to stop dancing. In fact, I'm going to find somewhere else, and guess what? You're not even going to know where it is. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you again. Ooh. Do you know, for a slip of a girl, she can't half make a racket. Right, I'm going out. No, not yet, you're not. Sit down. Mum, I'm Sit not... Sit down! Look, I am sorry that I got you in trouble today, but I'm not going to apologise for caring about my daughter. You got me sacked. Yes, and now I've got you your job back. What do you want to do a daft thing like that for? Because, Mum, I'd rather know where she is. And I think that you're old enough to make your own decisions. Lulu seems all right. She seems like she really cares about the girls. Well, I told you that. Mm. Well, she says she'll give you your job back on one condition. What? I don't bring these two back again. Is this all because you want to get back with Gary? You're trying to bust me up? I've had enough of all this now. I'm going home. Do you know how difficult it must have been for your mum to go to that place again? Well, I didn't ask her to. No, well, you don't have to. Because she put you first lady, always. I wish you'd just remember that sometimes. Madison. Look. I'm sorry for the way that I feel about Gary. No, it's fine. It's over. He's, um, well, he's moved on and I've moved on, so... Hallelujah. Can you do me a favour? Can you give my next fella a chance, please? Deal. Sorry Kevin can't be here, but... A corned beef sandwich. Sums up my life, that. Life is like a corned beef sandwich. Hardly Forrest Gump, is it? Well, there's no point cooking for one, is there? I mean, Bethany's gone out with Craig, David's taken Shona to the bistro, and you seem happy with that pasty. Yeah, well, only because I didn't want you cooking specially for me. I thought it was because you might be seeing Gary later. No, you heard me, I've moved on. Well, I know what you said, but I thought you were waiting for the right time to bake it to Bethany. Ah! I mean, ah! I know how much you like him, and like me mum said, you can't let her lay down the law. What is it? I saw him when I was on the way back from the club uh, with Nicola. He was getting in the car with her. Well, maybe they're going to the hospital, you know. Something to do with the baby. Well, no, I'm not annoyed or angry or anything. It's, you know, he's got his kid to think of and I've got my two. Mm. I just think it's not meant to be. It wasn't for those darn kids, eh? Mum, well, I'm here and pouring my heart out to you and you're quoting Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Just trying to bring a smile to that pretty face. <laughs> right, that is enough of that. What are you doing? I'm going to go to Dev's. I'm going to cook his lasagna from scratch. Why? Because I think it's about time I start putting my family first. I don't know you love lasagna. It stops me sitting around feeling sorry for myself. But mainly because life is not a corned beef sandwich. It's whatever you make of it. <sighs> I was enjoying that sandwich. Virtual went to see a psychic in Blackpool once. Four foot nothing he was. Face like a badly made meat and tatey pie. <laughs> Bit of a looker then. <laughs> he told me there and then that my love life would be complicated. 
I think that's one way of putting it. <laughs> if you could bring just one of them back for one night, who would you pick? Brian? Well, he was definitely the best looking out of all of them. Lovely hair. Perfect teeth. Very manly. <laughs> Trouble is, if I brought him back, his mother Ivy would probably come with him. Yeah, like Princess Diana. Three people in the marriage. Mm. Anyway, never mind about me. What about you and Craig? <sighs> Not great. You know, if I could turn the clock back, I'd do things differently. I'd be clear about what I wanted. I'd be honest. Compromise is the key to a good relationship. You have to try to meet in the middle. And if you can't, you might as well go your separate ways. I got them. Bethany! No, Mum, that's for Bethany. Put another one in. There's only the crust left and she hates the crust. So do I. Well, she needs breakfast more than you do. What are you saying? Bethany! Why aren't you dressed? You're going to be late for work. I'm not going. What? Mum said you had a set to. No, I didn't have a set to. I resigned. Did you know about this? Uh, we didn't want to worry you. She says it's OK if you've changed your mind. I haven't. I got a better job offer. Doing what? Back at the lap dancing club. Oh, you can't. Why not? I get paid three times as much. Darling, you've moved on. Don't go back to doing something that's not good for you. What, like you going back to Gary? After everything that's happened, you need a job that doesn't involve taking your clothes off and men leering at you. No, you're wrong. I'm in control and I feel a million times better about myself than I do sweeping up hair and getting leered at anyway. At least this way I'm getting paid for it. Right, well, at least have some breakfast. And I'll just get a croissant in town. What are we going to do? What can we do? Is that a date yet for the wedding? Well, we were thinking Christmas, actually. Oh, do I get an invite? You'll get a rocket if you can. <laughs> Look, I am not complaining that you've got a mate. At least now I know that you're not the lone psychopath I thought you were when we first met. Yeah, well, it takes one to know one, doesn't oh. it? There you are. I like the sound of that. Looking for me? Yes. You're just having me dinner. Brace yourself. Why? Just had a call from your dad. Him and Robin are having a baby. Came as quite a shock. I'm not surprised. He's pushing 50, you know. And they're emigrating to New Zealand next month. Good afternoon. He just called out the blue? Yeah. And you had no idea? Well, I've spoken to him for ages. But why New Zealand? I mean, it's the other side of the world. Well, he's applied for this job thinking he's not going to get it. Bit of a joke. And then next thing you know, they've asked him to start straight away. Anyway, he wants us all to get together before he goes so we can say goodbye properly. Yeah, he really wants to see you. Is he selling his house? He didn't say. Is he coming back or what? Well, he did use the word emigrate, and I don't think you uproot your family for no good reason. But why didn't he ring me? Well, he just rang the house. I suppose he didn't know who was going to answer. Well, it's not like he's not got my number. I, mean, I speak to him every couple of weeks. I think it's all just happened very quickly. I think he's going to have quite an adventure out there. Good bully for him. Don't you think you should get the all clear from a doctor first? Oh, not you as well. Fine, OK, I'll back off. But you know what? If you die, we're going to have to tell the kids that this fight meant more to you than anything else. Look, serve me the reverse psychology spiel, OK? You can chuck me in a wicker coffin, and I don't want any flowers. You think that's funny, do you? Leaving Max and Lily orphans. Mum, I haven't had a fit in years. But you've not been in a boxing ring. You could go in all guns blazing and come out a vegetable. Well, it's his life. Yeah, what she said. Yeah, yeah, if he wants to risk it all just to impress his new bezzy mate, then it's his call. Cos, well, that's what this is all about, isn't it? You're worried that if you back out now, Josh is going to think you're a wuss. No. You're a father with responsibilities. Yeah, so's Martin, but that doesn't stop him doing what he wants to do, does it? New kid, new continent. Oh, hold your breath, my love. He's definitely hell-bent on it. Yeah, and cheer up, girl. If I do come out three parts broccoli, at least you get to say your four favourite words. Right, that's it. I'm going to go and see Josh. Get him to make him see sense. 
Bond picked out for you? Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. Anyway, I'd better get going. No, wait, wait. We can't leave it like this. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to stay, but I've got a tarot booked in at half past. Between you and me is the chairman of Weatherfield County. I think he's trying to decide what to do about the manager. Look, can I make a booking with you? Well, you can, but I'm very much in demand, a bit like you. Oh, <laughs> look, name the day. Whenever you can fit me in, please. Right, well, I'll have a look at my diary and I'll get back to you. OK. Uh, lovely to meet you. Bye-bye. 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 Who was she? What have you booked? When all the old dears are going on about seances in here, you're the first one to pull a face. Exactly. There is certainly nobody more sceptical about medium than me. <sighs> don't know about that. There's three of us in this room. Uh, don't include me. Rosemary could be legit. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just can't bury my head in the sand after everything she said. Well, she'll have done her research. I mean, it wouldn't take her long to find out that you were married to Alf and Alf was the mayor. No. Two minutes on the internet. Well, she knew about Mrs Abercrombie's feet. Oh, Audrey. Everyone who knew her knew about Mrs. Abercrombie's feet. And that chocolate egg incident ended up in the Gazette. Yeah, well, ordinarily I say you were right, but there was one thing she said which you won't see on the internet or in the paper. And I know that for a fact because nobody bar Alfie and me knew about it. And what was that? <sighs> well, it's about the eternity ring. Alfie told me years later that he'd got Bet Lynch to choose it. Now, he never told a soul, and he swore her to secrecy, and I have never told anybody. Well, that's not right for a start, because you told me. Oh, did I? Well, how else would I know? Oh, well, if I did, that's it. But you've never told anybody, have you? Oh, you told me to keep it a secret. Well, th so there's no way that Rosemary could have known about it. You can't be sure of that. Oh, I know, not 100%, but near as damn it, anyway. And if it is, as you say, there's another explanation, then there's only one way to find out. You should steer well clear. What? And spend forever wandering, Gail. No way, thank you. If there is the slightest chance of my Alfie trying to talk to me, then I am certainly not going to cock a deaf on. OK? I turn my back. Oh, dear. Made a bit of a mess here, haven't we? Dad's gonna look cool, mad. Oh, no, no, he's not. He's not, because I can get it fixed, and then he won't even have to know you were playing with it. Give us a smile. <laughs> You're feeling better. OK, well, I think it's a little bit too late for you to go to school, so why don't you nip upstairs and play in your room? Whoa! <laughs> Careful, madam! There's a miraculous recovery. Mm, yeah, less of an upset tummy and more of a guilty conscience. That was Kylie's. Yeah, Lily's tangled up the chain. Well, I'm sure the uh, jewellers in the precinct can mend it. That's the plan. She was worried David would be upset. And you're helping solve the problem? I should have not. No. I think you're doing exactly what David would want you to do. Mum's the word. My lips are sealed. Let me know. You're not very chatty today. Well, what did you want? A chat or an haircut? Well, a bit of both would have been nice. Well, I'll do better next time. How do you know there'll be a next time? You'll be back. How can you be so sure? Because we're cheaper than anyone else around. Hmm. Well, I should see you in a fortnight. It's shepherd's pie. Yes, you said. You like shepherd's pie? I made it from the roast we had on Sunday. You have to shout. He's feeling very delicate today. You know? Yeah. I uh, don't know. Hang on. Graham. Yeah. Josh is looking for a gym space for that boxing thing for Luke. He wants me to give him hand, like, now. Oh, yes. Yes, OK, go now. Uh, in fact, take the rest of the day off. We've got no more appointments. Yeah, but I need to... No, go on. You need the break. Now, get off. Come on. Yeah, I'm on the way. All right. Oh. Hey, you're not going boxing. Just keep your nose out, all right? So, tea at ours. No, I'm busy, Gail. Busy with what? Stuff. I've got stuff to do. Well, we can eat a bit later, then. Oh, wait a minute. It's this clairvoyant. You've got a date with a Ouija board. Look, I am just intrigued, that's all. 
They're a load of con artists. Oh, for goodness sake, girl, I wasn't born yesterday. I'm not taking her to the house. I'm going to get her to do whatever she does here. You're a fool. Alf's dead. He's not going to be talking to anyone. I know that, my love, I know. I'm just curious, that's all. Hey, save me some shepherd's well, pie. Well, I might. I might not. Okay. And you take care. How many so important? Why didn't the spirits come to see me instead of this Rosemary? Well, maybe they did, but you didn't see her. She's a fake. Oh. Well, if she is, she's a flipping good one. And what about Ivy? How on earth did you know about Ivy Tilsley? Ma'am, I know what it's like feeling lonely. What's that got to do with anything? Well, I mean, you work all day. You come here for your tea or you sit in the rovers chatting. You don't want to go home because it means you'll be on your own. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. I've got Netflix. I am never on my own. You're vulnerable. Oh, so Rosemary knows that. Would it be nice to hear from Alf? Yes, of course it would. I mean, I'd love to hear from Michael or Joe or Brian. But it's just not real, ma'am. Thanks, love. Mary, now. Oh, no, of course I'm not. Then why are you trying to install me in your Ouija board club? Daughter, dearest, I am trying to help you. Well, I don't need your help. Perfectly happy leaving the dead where they are. I don't bother them, they don't bother me. Yes. Well, do you know, I felt the same as you. And then I spent the whole afternoon with Rosemary and... Gail, the things she said, things she knew, I mean, sensitivity and the compassion. She's a con artist. Oh, God, I work with people every day of my life and I think I'm a very good judge of character. <laughs> You're a terrible judge of character. You're almost as bad as me. I mean, you and me, we'd win the gold and silver in the world championships of worst judge of character. Well, you're wrong, lady, and I'll prove it. How? <sighs> well, Alpha, you know, he was a good man, right? And Michael, he was a good man. I know we both made terrible mistakes in the past, but we do have good friends, and we both love good men. Well, I'm not going down that road. I mean, if it helps you, then fine. But please don't see her again. Voicemail again. Well, maybe a blowout with his new best friend is just what the doctor ordered, eh? Especially after that hoo-ha with Martin. I'm sorry I had to miss your school trip because you're not well. You are really poorly, aren't you? Oh, you got your money back. I'm not going on the trip. A tenor's a tenor. If you're too embarrassed to ring the school, I'll do it. I'm not too embarrassed, Gail. Don't worry. No, I'm not worried. Just trying to help out. It's my default mode. Really? <laughs> Tell me where it hurts, sweetheart. My belly. Oh, you poor thing. You know what you need, don't you? What? A granny hug. Mm. Come here. <laughs> do you think I should try David again? Is that the little green-eyed monster raising its ugly head? No. Would you be prepared to take a lie detector test on that? All right, well, maybe a little bit, but why should he get to have all the fun? You must get lonely. Eh? Huh? Well, we all need pals, Shona, and you don't seem to have many pals. I've got pals? Well, um, yes, you've got me, and I enjoy our little chats. Did I ever tell you about the time I went to Knowsley Safari Park? Actually, you know what, Gail? What? Stuff him. Two can play at his game. I'm going to the pub. Oh, well, here he is. The day to stop out. Don't tell me you lost your phone. Your voice? Your mind? Have you seen that? I'm going to rip his head off. Leave it, love. He could have been dead in a gutter. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, and it takes one minute to send a text, one measly minute to put someone out of their misery. You know what I think? I think he needed the blowout. Am I? You know what I think? I think he needed the blowout. Am I complaining about him going out? Am I? Well, you are 
just a little bit. No, no, we all need a good sesh every now and then. Okay? I have never stopped any of my fellas having fun. That way they can't stop me. He's a lot on his mind. Yes, I know, this Martin business, but Gail, this is about respect. I am not his skivvy, I am not his childminder. I'm his partner, his equal. It's a phase. He never used to carry on like this. Yeah, no, he didn't, not until Josh came on the scene. And the pair of them, they both need telling. I'm not gonna be treated like one of the staff. Gail, Gail, wait. Oh, he's got you running errands. He hasn't even bobbed me a text. Is Davey coming in this afternoon or not? Oh, you won't want him state, is he? Anyway, I'll have a word because it's unprofessional. Right, now take this. Now take it. <sighs> Rosemary Piper. Ma will you just drop it? Gail, if you could have seen her face. She is such a positive person. Just meet her. Even if it's just to prove me wrong, eh? Here he is. Picture from the Black Lagoon. Do you feel better for that sleep? Mm. When did you take your last lot of paracetamol? You'll be due some more soon. Are you hungry? We'll make you a nice chucky, eh? He was in. Oh, I need to learn my lesson. Never take a lightweight out on a school yeah, night. He was out of depth, all right. He looked like death warmed up. Kiwi and kale, extra ginger. Well, that beats my chucky egg into a cocked hat. If I'd have known you were in, Gail, I'd have made you one. Although the way he's looking at that, I think you might be in with a chance. Mm, something tells me he's not going to make training tonight. A couple of orange juices, I said, early nights. He led you astray. That is exactly what he did. Then I've no sympathy for him. Davy boy, you need to pull yourself together. Otherwise, your mum won't let us play out again. <laughs> oh. Here, give us that T-shirt. I was going to put a wash on anyway. No, no, what? get off! Honey, Josh, you've seen it all before. Steady on, mate. Stop fussing, right? I'll sort it. Yeah, all right. Walk around looking a state, then. Josh, do yourself a favour. If he suggests air of a dog, run a mile. Well, I'm in training. Right, run ten, then. I'll go sort the washing out. We won't be stopping long, so, um, just tea for me. Rosemary? Say him, please. OK. I don't mean to be rude. But I'm not a believer. Yet. And with all due respect, I'd like you to stay away from my mother. You think I'm after her money? You and the spirit of Ivy Tilsley? No idea what you're after. You. Hey, love, we haven't really talked about music, but... <laughs> you have to understand that I'm an irrelevance. I'm the messenger, that's all. I don't want Audrey's nest egg. I just want you off my desk. Oh, sorry, that sounds bad. But when the spirits are kindly, I don't mind them hanging around. Well, Ivy was kindly. In her own misguided way. Forget about Ivy. It's this man and his hammer. They're dragging me down. I thought there was a code. Long life and tall, handsome strangers and the bad stuff you kept to yourself. I tell that to Richard, he's tired of waiting, Gail. All right, I'm sorry I want that. Call me name. Of course it is, but still, you should listen to what he has to say. If your family's never known bad luck, where's the harm? Forgive me, but I'm picking up some tension. Have you had some misfortune in recent years? Every year, I think, this year will be different, and every year another earthquake comes along to knock us off our feet. I'm sorry to hear that, Gail. Oh, you're a good person. Well-loved. Intelligent, that's clear. So I'm going to respect your views and, and wish you well for the future. Bill, please. A choir. Yeah. Can't have a party without sandwiches. <laughs> Why? Nobody ever eats them. They'll be sausage rolls. 
Are you having party bags? Well, I was thinking about it, and to be honest, Harry is so little, I think I can get away with not. Tell Shona about Lily's friend Jasmine's party. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, posh Petra, David calls her. She's lovely, really. But she organised all this stuff. There was a candy floss machine, there was an entertainer, which was a woman dressed as Elsa from Frozen. I think there should be a limit on how much people spend. And an animal people spend. And an animal entertainer. It was wicked. Yeah, until one of the snakes escaped. Oh, no. <laughs> it was hilarious. The candy floss machine went everywhere. Elsa ripped a dress clambering onto um, one of the chairs and then yeah. the cups and drinks just went all over the place because, of course, Petra had a cream carpet. <laughs> Serves her right, really. <laughs> Am I coming to the party? Oh, of course you are. Yes, my darling, we're going to go to the park straight after school and then we're going to come back here for our tea. But, Lily, I need you to help me out with the little ones, OK? I'm not hanging around with a bunch of little kids. Oh, far too cool. Right, come on, you two. Caught some. I want to stay and help. Well, you can eat your dinner in your room in a minute. Come on, now. I can take them if you want. No, all right. I mean, thanks, but I'll do it. Come on. Martin Leavins hit him hard. Yeah, he'll be fine. Do you know, I am thinking, though, I might need some canapes and some dips. Don't want posh Petra thinking I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> Getting some hotels. Oh, no, you don't fancy coming with me, do you? Because uh, I don't know what he likes. Oh, it's a bit difficult, really, having to get ready for the party. This game of outro or something. Oh, no, come on. That would be like that Christmas that our Stephen adopted a donkey for David when he wanted a Tamagotchi. Well, if you have any problems, just give me a ring. Oh, all right, and I'll help with the sandwiches when I get back. She's not having any. What? No sandwiches? No. We're having sausage rolls. It's fine. I'll see you later, Graham. Oh, well, I'll pick up a couple of BLTs from the precinct. Bye. Are you sure you want to do this? Well, since we had our chat, I, I have become a bit unsettled, if the truth be known. About Richard. We should have met away from here. Relax. Now, Richard Hillman. I can't say I'm not apprehensive. I understand. But it's incumbent upon me to relay what he's trying to communicate. We're in this together, you and me, Gail. OK? Hang on, giant forks and spoons. Oh, how lovely. It's designer. <laughs> Italian fresco. <laughs> you should come round for a viewing. Oh, hey, we were about to send out a search party for you. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I got way late, sorry. David, the screen's frozen. Give it here. Oh, Bram, why don't I ask Sally if she's got any news? Oh, and it's no big deal. But as we speak, Tim's hanging our Italian designer wallpaper. Oh, very posh. I'm just very pleased you're staying put in wet with you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Do you know, I feel so much brighter and all this horrible stuff is behind us and who knows what the future might be. Oh, well, I know who doesn't know. Psychic Rosemary. Sorry? Oh, we'll, uh, we'll not bore you. No, come on. Fair's fair. Do you were right, Gail. That Maria went on the internet and you're never going to believe that. The things that that charlatan claimed to know about me and Alfred, well, it was all there, online. You shameless or what? Yes, the only gift that Rosemary's got is an excellent memory. And what about your eternity ring? I mean, she hit the nail on the head there, didn't she? Well, unless Bet Lynch has got an online blog. But she didn't mention Bet Lynch. She just said a peroxide blonde and they're ten a penny round here, aren't they? Anyway, you've changed your tune, Lynch. So have you. <laughs> Well, I heard it was Harry's birthday, so I brought him oh. something noisy for the adults. <laughs> Thank you. You right, David? But I'm not going to intrude, so... Uh, no, you're not, you're not. Marta, yeah. it'd be bad if I ate one of the feet. <laughs> Hi, guys, it's cake time! Woo! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Go first. Oh, 
I saw my dad before he left. Yeah, well, I, I hope it's helped you sort things out a bit. Mm. Yeah, it did. Oh, get, tell me that recipe again, Gail. Oh, Mum, I've told you once to New Zealand. Well, why not? My dad is. You hardly see him. And now you're emigrating with him. What about me? Well, come with us. I can't leave Nick and Sarah and Bethany needs us now after what she's been Mom, through. Mom, Nick doesn't even live here anymore. Look, our whole lives are here, David. We can't just uproot everything as a drop of a house. And um, what about the house? Well, I'll sell it. And where am I going to live? Well, to be honest, Gail, I couldn't give a monkeys. I'm doing this for the kids. I mean, they, they can play out. It's more safe. Oh, well, what, your kids can play out? What about mine? He's in prison. What difference does it make if you're here or not? He's my son, and I want to visit him, and I want to be here for when he gets out. Well, I don't. <sighs> I'll put the kettle on. We need to talk about this sensibly. Look, I've squared it with me dad, all right? We can stay at his until we find his own place, right? Job done. I'm off to work. <laughs> You're finished, then. No, I just decided to try standing on me tiptoes. It's cheaper. You know, I shan't miss you and your missus. In fact, uh, if you're having a going away party, I should hire a phone box. Oh, we will have a party, all right? To celebrate not having to look at your face anymore. isn't it? How could they? It's a memorial. I don't know which is worse. The lack of respect, reason, or the possessive apostrophe. I'll give you a hand. This means more to me than most. This is going to take more than soap and water, Gail. It, it, it is sanding, revarnishing. I'll come back later. I need to open up. How are you managing without Anna? Oh, she's sorely missed. Well, I could do a few extra shifts. I mean, it's not as if I'm a stranger to the place and I could do with a bit of extra money coming in. Well, I, I would like to help, Gail, but Shona and Alex are doing Anna's hours. It's all right. It was just a thought. Um, I'll see you. Um, Victoria, about what? Oh, have you been talking to Audrey's medium? Oh, she's not my medium. I only had one consultation. Have you been to see her, Gail? Well, what if I have? Well, for goodness sake, you couldn't have been more opposed to her. And you couldn't have been more in favour of her. And now I've talked to her, I see why everything makes sense. Gail, those that claim to be in touch with the so-called spirit world are at best deluded and at worst incorrigible charlatans. They shamelessly exploit the vulnerable. I'm vulnerable. Oh. Nothing's gone right since Richard Hillman walked into my life. Cos he never left me. He's cursed me. Look. Gail, it isn't like you haven't had bad luck in your life, eh? I mean, look what happened to poor Brian. Eh? Hey? Her first husband. That was a random act, out of the blue. But by and large, life was normal back then. Now it's one disaster after another, not just for me, but for the whole family. Well, that's fair enough. I wouldn't bother with the lottery. Oh, Brian. I mean, I used to ask myself what I've done to deserve it. Now I finally know. Gail, get... Oh. I should never have got them together. Well, it wasn't my idea that you should come. I'm not blaming you. Don't need help to drive my kids away. Mum, it's not your fault. David's not been the same since Kylie died. I had hoped that meeting Shona would bring him some peace. Should have known better the way things have been for this family. Mm. Gary, this is my stepdad, Martin. Oh, hello. Heard lots about you. How oh, have you? <laughs> Got all it against me, eh? So, uh, so you two, are you, uh... We're getting there, aren't we? Yeah, well, Maria... It's Audrey, she's been hurt. She's talking, but... She got mugged outside the salon and they've, they've knocked her over. Have you called an ambulance? Yeah, it's on its way. 
Right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come and check her over. <clears throat> There'll be hell to pay if you get too back. many. I had to content myself with grabbing the one who had uh, Audrey's back. You caught one of them. Oh, tangled with the wrong hombre. It was a textbook takedown if I say so myself. Well, that's unbelievable. Right man, right place, right time. Has he said anything? <clears throat> when the police arrived, he was less than forthcoming. Uh, I don't think he'll be incriminating his accomplices. Did you get a glimpse of any of them? Oh, no, no, it all happened so quickly. I, I told the police all we know. Why were you two at the salon? <sighs> we were meeting Rosemary. I had asked her to stop seeing you. What? It was for your own protection, Gail. She is my protection. Oh, so Richard Hillman is dead, Gail. He cannot hurt you. Open your eyes. Look at what happened today. Richard Hillman has cursed this family and we'll never have any peace until we see him oh, off. Oh, 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 Gail, please, you've got to listen to us. This is none of Richard's doing. No, it isn't. And now's not the time for this. We, we, we need to get you checked out. Everything else can wait. I hope she's all right. No, are you sure you don't want to get to bed? Not as if I'd sleep. No, we went looking for a gun, not two dead bodies. We'll be in touch. Gail? Mom? It's Nicola. Come in. Done. I'm so sorry, Nicola. Dave, what have you got to be sorry for? Well, he is still your dad. You okay, girl? The police know he let Michael die. That man stood over him while he lay dying. Michael warned me about him. Kai. Sweet Michael. Why don't you tell me you were going to dig up the site? Because we only had a few hours before the builders started work. Did you see them? The bodies? No. No, it was the police who found them. Even after everything, I, I can't believe that this is who he really was. Four people dead. Anna, she knew what he was capable of and no one believed her. Certainly not Eileen. Have you spoken to Anna? No, we're going to go and see her later on. But first, he was thinking that she'll be waiting by the prison gates with her suitcase. God, he's wrecked so many lives. Well, not anymore. She said she was going for a dinner. She's had a hell of a day. She's bound to be rattled. Oh, darling, there you are. Oh, please don't start. Look, let me just tell you. I've been on the phone to DC Lee. She's going to come round in a bit. She's going to explain it all to you properly because Craig shouldn't have told you like he did. Do you really think I care how I found out? Tell her not to bother. I'm not doing it. Not talking to the police? Not talking to anyone. And definitely not going back to court. No. You've done it once. You're amazing. You can do it again. Except I can't, Mum. What you can't do is let him walk free. It'll be easier this time. You're stronger now. What do you think? Look, there's no way he's going to win an appeal. He's just trying his luck. Well, like your son did. David. Leave it to when we're alone, yeah? Do you know who I blame for all of this? The police. The lawyers for making me get up there and humiliate myself. Don't say that. All for nothing. Look, what if you don't give evidence and he gets out and he goes and does it to some other poor lass? Oh, just shut up, will you? All of you, leave her alone and shut up. Are you seriously going to blame her if he gets released and attacks somebody else? Look, I didn't mean it like that, Bethany. I swear I didn't mean oh, it like this that. This is getting out of hand. There's plenty of This time. happened to her, all right? Not us. And you're just going to stand there and make her relive it again and again? Look, I appreciate it. I just wanted us to see how important it is that she goes back to court. Oh, I know, and she knows that too. What is up with him? Why is he behaving like that? And bringing up Clayton, that is so wrong. 
He's angry. Yeah, why? Not a clue, but I'm going to find out. And I'm sorry for all this drama. You've got more important things to be worrying about. Both of you. It's been a difficult day. Oi, what word were you? You, you were all for it when Bethany testified against me. So they were just waiting there. I've just picked up your message. I was here seeing your grand. Who did this to him? He was in a boxing match to take a wild guess. Tyrone? Tyrone did this to him. Well, it's not like Tyrone. It's as I've always said, boxing is no good. What? I thought they were supposed to be wearing helmets. Tyrone didn't do it. Well, who did? Your son. David. But Tyrone pulled out and David volunteered and I thought he seemed a bit keen, but now we know why. So what happened? He just kept beating him, even when they rang the bell. It's not like David. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Because he split up with Shona, because he hates Gary with a vengeance, and there's the vengeance, because he's a psycho. But David... But is... David is a mess. And Gary better pull through. I'm going to put David in a coffin too. Sorry. How is he? Is he OK? We're keeping Gary sedated. He has a swelling on his brain. That doesn't sound good. Of course it doesn't sound good. He, he will be all right. Mum. The next 24 hours are going to be crucial to his recovery. That's all we can say for now. I don't want him to die, I... Mum. No, love. I can't go through that again. No, I know. I'm going to have to move out. There's just no way that I can live under the same roof as that thing that I have to call a brother. You're not going to say anything. Let's just concentrate on getting Gary better. No, Mum. Let's talk about your son. Look, he made this happen. That is all you need to know. This is real. We're here and Gary might die and it's all David's fault. I thought it changed. He's been so good with Bethany. Oh, Miss Sarah, I don't know what to say. Come. David? What's happening? Is David all right? Yeah, yeah. He'll be taken to court this afternoon for a plea hearing, and I've advised him to plead not guilty. How can he? There were loads of witnesses. Well, we'll explain that he's never taken part in a boxing tournament before, and he was so focused that he didn't even hear the bell. What, and is that true? David, David, I'll I'll follow you to court. I'll, I'll be there. I promise. Well, I would come, but no, it's all right. You don't need to. Okay, I'll see you later. Maybe it's a power cut with a cat. What happened? He's been released on bail. Oh, well, that's something, I suppose. Good news from the hospital as well. Has he come round? Uh, yeah. The doctor said he's going to be okay, apart from the cracked ribs. I just don't get it. Why would you want to attack him like that? It would help if we could understand. I mean, I know you were annoyed because of Nicola, but that's no excuse. Did Gary say something? Is that it? I mean, something to provoke you? Or has something else happened between you two? I could do without all this. David, you can't just run off every time I try to say... Unbelievable. You've every right to be angry, love. But now's not the time to jump ship, not with your granny in hospital. I wondered when you'd start with a guilt trip. Whether you like it or not, you are still a part of this family. Oh, she's going round in circles. And this family is always stronger together. Always has been, always will be. I know your heart's in the right place, Mum, but you're living in dreamland. So you just want me to give up, dear? Like you are? It's called self-preservation, and with a son like David, I suggest you learn it.
see you then. Bye. Mum, I'm going to need you to look after Harry for me in the morning. Oh, please, Sarah, think about it. Okay, I'll just leave him. Think about what? She's moving out. More like escaping. Sarah? Have you got a problem with me? Yes. I have. I have got a problem with you. You scare me. You scare the hell out of me. Well, I'm sorry about what happened to Gary. No, you're not sorry. Because if you were, you'd have a conscience. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, do I not? You enjoy hurting people. You get off on it. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. You're wrong in the head. Whatever this is, David, it has to stop. I mean, in the space of a week, you've practically driven your entire family away. And now this business with Gary? If you're not careful, you're going to end up with nothing. Is there an actual point to this? I'm trying to understand. Trying to understand? Yes. You can't. Well, maybe together we can find oh, a way. Oh, Mum, please just leave me alone. But shutting me out. I said is... leave me alone! Be late for work. No, I'm not going. I'm not going to stand there all day while folk are gossiping about me. David, <laughs> people have been gossiping about you ever since I can remember. Water off a duck's back. Your clients might not even turn up. I'm scared you'll turn on them. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're in the paper. Says you hurt Gary. Yeah, well, it's a boxing match, mate. People are going to get hurt. Yeah, I don't know why they call it a sport. Men and women bashing each other's brains out. But it's going to be fine. I bet it's not. You've been weird for days. It's because Sean moved out. No, all right? And I've not been any more weird than what I normally am. Well, what passes as normal in this house? Max, go clean your teeth. I'll get the child to you. My mum's coming out of hospital today. She'll still need looking after, though. All right. You're going to move in with her for a few days, then? No, I thought she'd be better off here. You having a laugh? That boiler of hers is on the blink. I mean, you can't expect her to sit turning blue with cold in a freezing house. And don't worry, we'll be out of your way soon, won't we? I mean, she's a slattern in her own house, but you can bet your bottom dollar she'll give this place the once over. I can't believe you're moving her in here. David, you know, you've got a rock where your heart should be. She's an elderly lady and she needs looking after. So do you. Oh, don't let her hear you say that. You'll be the one ending up in hospital. You can come with me to pick her up tonight, if you like. See Gary while you're there. Apologise. Hey, we've got some money on you. He looks absolutely terrible. I know. Like he's at death's door. Mum, please. Well, are you going to say you're sorry? Not that it'll do any good, but still. Can you give us a minute, please? David's giving up his room for me. Yeah, not bad for the local psychopath. Oh, sweetheart. Hi, Audrey. Mm. Good to see you back. Oh, yeah, thanks. I hope you'll be back on your feet soon. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I will be, thanks. Are you sure this is all right? Yeah, we need to keep an eye on him. Can't leave him on his own when he's like this. All right. Sorry. David, please. Gosh. Oh. Mmm. Nice cup of tea. I mean, the hospital tea. The water is like something out of a 30-degree wash. Well, you're out of there now. Mind you, I have to say the social side had its compensation. Any danger of me getting a cup? How did you get on with Gary? Oh. He was asleep. What? Do you want me to do? Wake him up? You'll have to speak to him eventually. I will. Um, you could take your grand's case out, if you like, um, while I do your tea. Get out of the way, more like. Right? I'll do it if you like. I'll do it. I'll make some space for you in the wardrobe. Oh, sweetheart, thank you. Thank you so much, my love. Bless her. Oh, well, I can see why you're worried. Yeah, well, the whole family's a worry right now. I'm nearly on the mend, right? 
And you've put all that ridiculous stuff with Richard and Rosemary behind you, so that must be some relief. Well, yeah, it, it is. Yes. So there are reasons to be cheerful, darling. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I'm talking of hospitals. How's Gary? Oh, yeah, he's a bit better. Oh, good. Well, I've got something to tell you, actually. Oh, tell me. We've got engaged. To be married? Yeah, that's usually why you do it. Oh, congratulations, my darling. Oh, thank you. Well, you could look a bit more happy about it, Mum. No, no, I'm just a bit shocked. Yeah. Have you fixed a date yet? No, it's only happened this afternoon. Oh, sweet. Well, I hope you'll both be very, very happy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, that's a turn-up. could say that again. Hey, come on, you like Gary, don't you? Yes, but I'm just not sure that they're ready for marriage yet. Yeah, we have been through all this before. I mean, they have called it off because of his philandering. True. Best not start planning anything just yet. You have to make so much noise. Oh, I'm sorry for disturbing you. Maybe you should have gone to bed instead of passing out here. Oh, now, now, you two. Do you know it's got to be like a ghost town with all new lot moving out and me going home at last? What's all this? I think a certain person had a skin full last night. Again? <sighs> Look, can you not, all right? My head won't take it. Oh, Graham. What? Can you, um, pick the kids up from school? Cos I need to go to the cash and carry and restock. With this thing on my foot. I thought you were that taken off. Yes, I am, but later. Oh, that reminds me. Sarah, are you picking Gary up from the hospital later? I am. Is that Oh, me? good. You couldn't give me a lift back, could you? Yeah, of course I can. Oh, sweetheart, thank you so much, because I wasn't looking forward to having to stand all the way back on that number 43. Well, I can pick the kids up if you want. I thought you were going to the funeral, Frandy. Yeah, well, it'll be finished by then. I could take them for a treat at the cafe. All right, yeah, as long as you just keep them away from Shona. Well, why'd you say that? I just think it'd be better for all of us if we had a clean break. OK, I'm going to go and get this stuff over and I'll come back for Harry in a bit. This is really it, then. <laughs> Gail, <laughs> she's only going round the corner. It's not the same, though, is it? Oh, go on, you get off, lovey. Harry and I will have great fun together, don't worry. I'm not going to say goodbye to your sister. Just leave your keys on the side. Oh, don't rise to it, my darling. Right, good luck at the funeral. I'll see you at the hospital later, Gran. All right, my love. Bye, bye-bye. See you, love. Are you a coffee? Uh, no, I shouldn't stop too long. I just wanted to give you this. Oh, thank you. And let you know that if you ever need a friend or someone for a bit of moral support, you know where I am. Thanks. Well, I mean, it can't have been easy for you, seeing all those things they've been saying about you. Sorry? On the free Anna website. Has someone been slugging her off? Uh, did someone not show you? She said there was nothing on there yet. Oh, well, she must have been trying to spare your feelings. I mean, she's been on there since first thing this morning, answering them all on your behalf. I mean, you don't want to get on the wrong side of that one. So, um, what have people been saying? Well, that you must have known about Pat and that you're only being nice to Anna to hide your guilt. I mean, if you want my advice, you'll just ignore the lot of them. I mean, some people think the worst of people, no matter what you do. And I should know, because I've been through enough of it in my time. Why? Well, I went through the same with an ex of mine, Richard. So he, uh, killed people as well? Well, if you think uh, Pat was bad, I mean, the things Richard did. And, and it never leaves you, you know. What? The fear, the shame. I mean, you close your eyes and he's still there like he never dies at all. Glad I'm not on my own. Every time I go to sleep, all I see is that I'm back at the lighthouse. Yeah, well, you're lucky you didn't have your kids with you because uh, I was more worried about them than me. And don't get me started about the paranoia, wondering what people were saying behind me back. Well, I've got a buyer coming for the car later, so hopefully people will see that when I give the money to Vinnie's mum... Well, it won't make any difference. They'll just say it was an old act. Sadly, 
Richard victims were all too far gone for me to make any difference. I knew this was too weird to be true. Sorry? I don't need your pity. And I certainly don't need your weird, my husband was more twisted and sick than your husband. I just think you should leave. Well, fine. You're obviously still in denial. But you'll be sorry when everybody around here starts uh, talking about you behind your back. Yeah, and you'll make sure of it, I shouldn't wonder. Do you not think you're overreacted a little bit? I don't care. She might let her ex haunt the rest of her life. There is no way that Pat is doing that to me. Nothing good about this afternoon, Roy. Seems to be the general consensus. What can I get you? Can I have a coffee, please? Feel free to make it an Irish one. I don't have any Irish whiskey, I'm afraid, or indeed a license to sell alcohol. Then a normal coffee is just fine, thank you. Yeah. Gail, you look how I feel, you all right? Oh, it was Andy's funeral this morning. Oh, of course it was, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. There we are. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Ah, uh, Gail. Yeah. I never understand why people ask how of you and young Andy's family this morning. Thank you, Roy. It was awful. I just kept thinking about Paul Michael and Andy and how if it wasn't for that monster, they'd still be here. I've got some people say they're together now, father and son, <laughs> except not. I'm sorry. I know what you mean. Thanks, Roy. Well, well, what can I get you? Just have a couple of uh, cheese toasties, please, and uh, I'll just have a cup up. Unfortunately, the dishwasher's diet uh, stopped working. Uh, Would paper plates suffice? So many apologies. Paper plates are fine, Roy. I tell you what, why don't I wash a few pots for you, eh? Give me a few minutes with my own thoughts. Well, in which case, the, the toasties are free of charge. Much appreciated. Thought you were going to the cash and carry. Well, it turns out any moron can do it, so they're doing it. I thought I'd take the kids home, get my pizza. Why don't you take them out for a pizza for a change? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, just it might be nice for you and for the kids to go out. Well, we'll find at home, thanks. Where are they? Uh, well, they were there. Well, they're not there now. Where are they? Roy, have, have you seen Max and Lily? Yeah, they're at the table there. Was everyone taking idiot pills today? They're not there now. Where are they? Oh, my goodness. You know you've not to go off like that. You knew that they were with me, didn't you? No, I didn't. I told you they're not allowed anywhere near her. What, you just thought you'd ignore me? I didn't know where they were. We just calm down. It's the second time you told me to do that today, Windass. Just stay out of it, will you? I do think that Gary has a point, though. Do one, Roy, and you can forget about looking after him in future, Gail. Of course he's going to let you have the kids. He's just angry. He's angry all the time. I'm so sorry, Gail. Oh, it's not your fault, love. Seriously, though, what is going on with him? I wish I knew. He's obviously not sleeping. Harry's allowed to be grumpy when he's tired. David's a grown man. He doesn't get that luxury. It's just odd. I mean, I hear him up all hours and then he just crashes out and falls asleep in his clothes. He even leaves his trainers on. I mean, I don't understand it. That is a bit weird. I just wish he'd talk to me. But all he does is push me away. He's like a different person. Oh, come on, Mum. He's been like this before. He's been horrible to you. In fact, he's been worse. Fine. So he's taking a break from being a nightmare, but now he's back to his old ways. You can't just write him off, though, can you? No, don't turn your back on him, love. He's hit the self-destruct button too many times, Mum. I've had enough. Holes in the sink, please. Well, look what the cat's dragged in. It wasn't a cat. Morning. Morning. There's only tea in pot. Uh, shouldn't we have an introduction first? Mm. Emma, meet the family. Family, meet Emma. Sorry about him. Worst morning person ever. I'm Emma. I've just started at the salon. Yeah, and she's also my new girlfriend. 
Kind of sudden, I know, but it feels right. <laughs> and you two must be Max and Tilly. Her name is Lily. Why are you doing this to Shona? Who's Shona? It's my ex. Go on, get your bag, get ready for school. Now. Hi. No way. Emma, are you two know each other? Uh, yeah, she was in the year above me at school. Oh, I heard what happened to you, babe. I am so, so sorry. Well, apparently Emma is David's new girlfriend. Come again? It gets better. We're also going to be work buddies. <laughs> yeah, she's the new trainee. What? We have so much reminiscing to do, it's crazy. <laughs> I think you mean reminiscing, though it hardly constitutes reminiscing when it was only last year. Is your grail always like this? Only joking. What did you just call me? Grail. It's a combo of Gail and Granny. I make up names, it's like a gift I have. Yeah, it suits you. Now, you might want to both sit down because our next bit of news is going to blow your minds. Do you want to tell him or shall I? You go for it. Tell us what? I'm moving in. <laughs> What on earth do you think you're playing at? You can't just move some random floozy in here. First of all, it's my house, my rules. <laughs> Second, who uses the word floozy Don't anymore? Don't get smart with me. That girl's ten years younger than you. Well, it's a bit like Dad, when he caught your eye. Right. That was different and you know it. Besides, it's not fair on Max and Lily. Well, I got used to Shona. They'll get used to Emma. That's what I love about kids, actually. They're adaptable. If you're doing this just to get some rise oh, out... Oh, no. I hate to tell you this, but the world doesn't revolve around you and your little hang-ups, all right? Of course, if you're unable to deal with it... You can't keep threatening to throw me out. There's that word again. Can't. Look, you just worry about your life, yeah, and let me worry about mine. Oh, for goodness sake. Just when I thought he couldn't shock me anymore. The thing is, Emma's actually quite a nice girl. Girl being the operative word. Yeah, well, that aside, David is clearly in no emotionally fit state to be going into another relationship. Well, maybe I could have a word with Emma, see if I can warn her off. And run the risk of her telling him that we're ganging up on him. I don't think so. Yeah, well, okay, that's right. No, no, no. We've got to be much cleverer about this. And David needs to be reminded about his priorities, actually. So what takeaway shall we get? Not fast. Evening. Hiya. Hi. Excuse me, but I'm bursting. <laughs> What's all this? Maybe you should sit down. No, I'm fine standing. Go on, then. Let's hear it. That girl needs to go, David. <laughs> Don't beat around the bush, Gran. No, this isn't a joke. I mean, whether you like it or not, what you do affects Max and Lily. Oh, this again. They're fine. Oh, wake up, David. They are not fine. They are seriously confused and they miss Shona. Look, is this actually going anywhere? Cos I need to order an Indian... Uh, look, this might be your house, David, but this is not a healthy atmosphere to bring up children. And uh, we think that the children should come and stay with me in Grasmere Drive. Yes? Until whatever this thing is you're suffering from runs its course. All right. All right, what? Well. well, the kids can go and stay with you at Grasmere Drive. What have I missed? How is she? Didn't know you were in. If you did, you'd have gone out, wouldn't you? What you said to Gary... I said I didn't want to talk about it. No, and what do you know? That doesn't surprise me, because uh, I know you, David. I know how you react in situations like this. You just run away and hide. It's what you've always done ever since you were little. Yep. But you can't hide from this because of Max and Lily. If you go to prison... No, oh, what are you going to do? Throw them out on the street? No, I'm, of course I'm not, David. We need to talk about this. 
There's nothing to talk about. What do you mean, there's nothing to talk about? Forget PTSD. I mean, have you explained to them what might happen? Or are you just going to leave that to me as well? David. I wish I could turn back time and make none of it happen. All right? But it did. And this is what's happening now, so... Yeah, Mum, maybe I will leave it up to you to tell them. Because after everything that's happened, I can't... I can't pretend anymore. I can't pretend there's any happiness or any hope. It's all lies. David. Nerves, is it? About the plea hearing? Or something else? David, please, just talk to me, will you? I told the kids last night they better get used to life without me. Yeah, but is it courty enough? Hmm? And Audrey, look. I'm wearing court shoes. Oh, yes, very clever. Get off the sofa. I don't want anybody coming. I want to go on my own. To court? No, to Iceland. Oh, Emma, what do you think he means? But I want to be there for you. Like the Friends theme music. Have you seen it, Audrey? It's this really old series, The Clue. Well, I don't want you there. I cut to some slack, David. I'm wearing court shoes. Well, take them off. Why will you not let anyone help you? You can't do anything to help. It's too late for that. Puts everything with David into perspective. Oh, well, I'll remind you of that when you're queuing outside strange ways to see you. I do find you a bit negative, you know, Audrey. Do you? Yeah, just saying. Well, I might nip to Dev's and get some rose-tinted spectacles if he's got any in. And a little bit sarcastic. <laughs> Deary me, I'm just warming up that plot. <laughs> Have you noticed how much David's changed recently? Yes. He's got a lot in his head, Gail. Just these last few days, like he's cut himself off from the world. Well, maybe that's his, what you call it, coping mechanism. Oh. Excuse me, ladies, have either of you seen David? Well, isn't he in court with you? Yeah, he's supposed to be, but he's run off. He was in the right state about Aiden. What? He's due up in half an hour, and this is not going to look good. I'll call him. He's not answering. Oh, I hope he hasn't done anything daft. Well, of course he's done some at daft, Gail. He's not gone to court. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. I mean, what am I meant to do? Look, come in, Gail. We've got Imram and Shona looking for him, and I'm far too long in the tooth to be wandering around Weatherfield on a wild goose chase. If he wants to be found, he will be. Come on. Forty odd years I've lived on this street. That same view every day. Practically know every cobble back to front. I like to think we look out for each other round here. And without being nosy, know what's going on in each other's lives. But you don't. Do you? Not that I knew him that well. Just to say hello to, really. But he was always polite with me. Which is more than you can say for some folk. I hope I'd have listened. If he ever wanted to speak to me. Not that he would have done. I wonder when he did it. When I was reading the kids a bedtime story. When I was getting ready for bed. When I was having some toast this morning. Or when
was I sleeping? Safe. In here, with the double glazing and the central heating, thinking our problems are bigger than everybody else's. Well, um, we've all been sleeping, ma'am. I can't stop thinking about poor Johnny. His son is not coming home tonight. I just hope to God mine is. You know we love you. And we need you. And nothing and nobody will ever change that. Please, David. Just come home. Oh, David. Look, I'll get you. Thanks for the Hawks Bridge. If you do hear from him, then obviously we... Oh, he's here. He's here oh, now. Oh, David, I've been out of my mind with worry. Yeah, I know. We thought you were dead in a ditch. David Platt, I'm arresting you for failing to appear at Weatherfield Crown Court on Wednesday the 9th of May at 1300 hours. Yeah, there's a surprise. Oh, don't be a smart Alec. You no. do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something that you later rely on in court. Do you have to handle Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? You idiot. This all could have been avoided. Why do you have to make things so difficult See you for later. yourself? No chance. They're going to be taking you into custody. You're joking. You're not going to be coming home for a very long time, David. Everything will work out, David. Oh, Harker Pollyanna. Nobody's above the law, sweetheart. Grant, you're not home. you got to get me out today. Yeah, don't worry. Honestly, Imran's going to sort it. Yeah? I love you. They put him on a tag or something. Are you joking? He's looking at an additional sentence for breaking the terms of his bail. No. I haven't told him yet. I figure there's enough on his plate. It'll kill him. Well, thank you for everything you've done. I'll be in touch. Shona, are you OK? Well, maybe it's just dawning on her. She should have left the kissing and making up till later and dragged him back to court. She does have a point. But I, I couldn't. We were talking. About what? About David. What's exactly wrong with him? What's he said? Shona, I'm his mother. I mean, what is more important than making sure he got to that court? Look, David's... He's got a lot on his plate. And I can't say any more than that. I, I really, really wish I could, but I, I just can't. I'm, I'm sorry. What's that supposed to be? Well, Gary still thinks he's got PTSD, and I agree with him. Kylie's death was so traumatic. Well, I've never seen him looking so fragile. And being locked up isn't going to help. Well... Whatever it is, I'm glad he's opened up to Shona. Maybe he'll turn a corner. She said what? Well, I'm sure that can't be true. David would never have one of those. I think she's lying. She's just trying to split us up because she wants him back for herself. Yeah, I think it might be sensible just to get yourself, you know, checked out, just in case. I suppose. She is right about one thing, though, love. You should move on from David. Just find yourself some nice, uncomplicated young... Just find yourself some nice, uncomplicated young man who adores you. You're probably right. But I thought he was the one. Oh, Emma, you've only known him a few weeks. But our stars were aligned and everything. It doesn't make sense. Well, often horoscopes don't. <sighs> and I feel like you're all family. It'd be like I'm splitting up with you two. Why don't you go and run yourself a nice bath? Yeah, I think I will. Well, if that's true, that could be the reason uh, Shona and David split up. Which would explain why he didn't want to talk about it. I wish he had. I mean, all that with Gary and now this. His world was falling apart and I didn't even realise. Well, you can't blame yourself. <laughs> And now he's ended up in prison. How's he going to cope with that, eh? With none of us there to support him. Uh, so, uh, his David's got his hearing tomorrow and we've got our fingers crossed. Oh, and what about, um, 
think she's in denial. Mm. Oh, hiya. Do you want a cup of tea? Ah, uh, yeah, thanks. Oh, David loves the brew. I wonder what he's having in prison. Are they allowed tea in prison? I'm sure they're allowed tea. Look, love, I'm sorry things didn't work out with you and David, but, you know, him and Shona have been together a long time, and although they've had their ups and downs... Mm. <laughs> oh, oh. I didn't mean to upset you. I just can't stop loving him. Even though he cheated on me and possibly infected me with a sexually transmitted disease. Oh. Well, it can't be easy, you know, being here with everything reminding you of David. I've come to think of this as my home. But what about your family? I mean, couldn't they do something? I've nowhere else to go. <laughs> but you're right. Now that me and David are not together, it wouldn't be right. So I think it's only fair I should pay rent. Rent? And give you money for food and bills, obviously. Oh, well, I, I suppose... Go. Well, let's see how things go at the hearing tomorrow, eh? And then we can uh, visit this situation again. <laughs> oh, dear. Love, stop fretting. That's the least of his problem. Well, and he's only slight. Doesn't take long for his athletic frame to tip over into scrawny. Look, he may not be Vin Diesel, but he's no weakling. Yeah, well, we wouldn't be sat here stressed to the eyeballs if it was. I can't believe he did a runner last time he was in court. I mean, he can't have done himself any favours. Yeah, well, I'll have to answer for that today. Imran said if he pleads guilty today, they may go easier on his sentencing. Really? Oh, fingers crossed. Well, we can't leave it to look, can we? We should be thinking about pillars of the community. Come again? Well, people who can put in a good word for him when the time comes. Give him a good character reference. Yes, maybe you should have a word with Sally. I mean, it won't do him any harm, will it, having the mayor of Weatherfield on his side? Could ask Dev or Roy. Yeah. We could ask Josh. I mean, I know they're not as close as they used to be, but he's a decent man. Hi. Thanks for coming. Good to see you. You too. Good luck, love. We're rooting for you, sweetheart. Oh, well, mothers can't do right for doing wrong. Well, I know I was a bit clingy, but I think it was as an antidote to your mothering. Oh, here we go. I mean, I know you did your best, but it was all a bit ad hoc. Well, I always think it's good to let kids make their own way in life. You know, it's character building. You let me run wild. I mean, I remember that time that Maggie Davies and I dug up a pile of worms and ate them. Does you no harm, a bit of dirt and so forth? I mean, it strengthens the immune system. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. He's not optimistic. I know. He's talking about making more permanent arrangements for the kids. Oh, well, that's just him being glass half empty like he always is. It doesn't mean he'll go down. What time are you seeing him? Six. Well, thank goodness he's got you. Seeing as he doesn't want to share things with his mother. You're giving my love, won't you? I will. Are you OK? You seem a bit... Um... Yeah, it's... Gary wants to give his statement in court in person, which I was thinking would be a good thing, but... But what? Well, Mum, his head was all over the place this morning, so God only knows what he's going to say. Hi, Gail. Hi. Is it David sentencing today? Yeah. Hope it all goes well. Yeah, fingers crossed. You're late, you. Sorry. Speaking up for David. If it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be coming home. Yeah, well, just giving a voice to the voiceless. <laughs> cheers! Cheers, cheers, cheers! Ooh. Oh, do you know, it's wonderful news. Isn't it wonderful news, Gail? Well, there's no other word for it. Yeah. Oh, where is he, then? Yes. You haven't left him on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he told us to come home. Said he didn't know how long he'd be with his Oh, he's your dad. Just calm down, Max. I told you, I'm not speaking to him. Well, he's not here. Good. Good. Well, that's the least I could do. I even so great with all this Nicola stuff. Just uh, polish my halo. I feel a bit sorry for her, actually. Hmm. Morning sickness. Water retention, no laughing matter. No, she told me she's had to. Turn to people online or something for support. Thought she must be lonely. You know, there should be a partner helping her through it. Well, it wasn't her partner who got her pregnant, was it? 
It wasn't. Ooh. Well, if you um, if you want to be there for her, I'm okay with it. I said I would be, and yeah. I am. I just want you to get along. Maybe she needs some mates. David! Oh, David. Oh, <laughs> you all right? Hi. Yeah, all right, Max. Oh, Max, come on. Billy just needs time to adjust. Congratulations. I feel like we should be singing Tie a Yellow Ribbon. Yes! <laughs> all right, Lil, come here. I'm just going to nip out for a sec. You swung it then, David, right? Got away with murder, more like. Oh, well, anything not to be with the lifers, like your grandma's. It was worse than that. I was with Tracy Barlow. <laughs> was Gail in prison? No. Oh, they're pulling your leg. And it's grandma Gail. Listen, mate, um, I'm really sorry what I put you through, you know? I was just worried about the sentencing, but things will be better from now on, I promise. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Gary. Seriously, mate, thank you. I really mean that. I owe you one. Yeah, you owe me several. <laughs> and they're back from a course. Are they not yet? Right, I'm going to ask her to move out. Ooh. Well, she'll be upset, but uh, I think it's for the best. Yeah, because Shona's moving back in. Well, isn't that a bit soon? It'll be unsettling for the kids. No, I need her, and they love her. Well, maybe it'll help us all get back to normal. Yeah. Max, go and get your school bag. We're going back to school. Max. Max, come on. I'm going to start banning you from watching TV at lunchtime. Why are you being mean? I'm not being mean. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Where's that come from? Josh said it's why you hate me. Andy said I can hang out with him. What are you doing talking to him? You do not speak to him ever again. Do you understand me? David, whatever's the matter with you? You're scaring the lad to death. How he gets away with it. That's why I'll keep getting away with it until someone says something. And you reckon you can do that? Talk about me. There's only one way to find out. Let's see. Oh. Oh, Everything all right? Yeah, yeah, we were just... No, um... no, it's not, actually. It hasn't been for a while. Sit down, a pair of you. Got something I need to tell you. I should have told you. I should have gone straight to the police. I'm so sorry. Don't. All this time, I've been so angry yeah, with well, you. Mum, you had a right to be angry. I mean, everything I've, you know, done to Gary, to Shona, to Emma. I mean, I even used Kylie as an excuse. It's okay. No, it's not okay. It destroyed my life since it happened. I... You know, like, people have been saying uh, that they can't understand why Aiden did it. I can. All right, because I know what it feels like to feel like that. Oh, love. I mean, do you remember the day that they found him? I was ready to leave everything behind, everything, even the kids. You don't feel like that anymore? No. No, I don't. I just don't want him to get away with it. You've had to go through all that alone. Mum, please, please don't. I didn't tell you because I want your sympathy or anything like that, all right? And I, I don't want to make you feel guilty. Oh, we know. I've just told you because it's... It's the right thing to do, talking about it. You know, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the only way that's going to stop him. Can I, can I just give you up? Yeah, if you must. Hey, yeah. What's all this about Phelan? Nicola and Michelle have been shot. Apparently they're still alive, but Phelan's dead. What, he shot himself? Oh, yes, sir. I can't believe it. You didn't say that again. It's all going on today, isn't it? Gail! <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I just... No, it's all right. You've got a point to be fair. Let's just go inside, shall we? 
You stay away from me, do well, you? Just leave you? it, will you? Oh, David, don't. But you told me I'm not meant to run away from you, remember? David, just, just come in. Just stay inside. there. David. So you told him then? Right, I'm gonna go for the kids. Are you absolutely sure you're okay on your own, love? Well, I'm not gonna be if you keep asking me. Well, glad to see he's back to his usual Mardy self. Hey. <laughs> I just hate the thought of him going through all this. I know. I mean, after everything with Kylie, why do things like this keep happening with this family? I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to hear all this. It's fine. Like you said, it's been quite a day. I'm just gonna get to the loo. Oh, and you know what? When all this is over, I think we should all go away. All of us, just a big family holiday. And then forget everything and come back to a fresh start. You know what? You're right. That's exactly what we'll do. Rosemary, it's Gail. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I've just, uh, I got a bit caught up in things, but uh, I've decided we can't go on like this. All this bad luck. I need to get rid of Richard's curse on us once and for all. No, I completely understand, love. And if you've got the money, Yes, well, okay. I'm in the car at the mo, but let me take a look at my diary and I'll get back to you. Right, great. You take care, lovey. Bye, 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 bye. Well, you'll be glad to know that Gail is well and truly back on the hook. Bravo, my dear, bravo. That really is splendid news. Have you been here all night? I've had some thinking to do. Why? Did Gary have something to do with it last night? That's a difficult one to figure. I thought he was different. Well, it never rains, but it pours. David at work. Oh? Oh, um, um, I'm not sure. Is something else the matter? Has David said anything to you? About what? Mum? No, he wouldn't want me to tell you. Well, like that stops you before. I know why he keeps showing her out. Go on. I know why he took it all out on Gary. And I know why he's been behaving so strangely these last few weeks. Why? Uh, I thought she deserved to know the truth. That wasn't your call. No, maybe not, but we're, we're not a family that keeps secrets. We'll just have to agree to disagree. Yep. Right, I better get back. Steve gets grumpy when he's hungry. Hello, Roy. Could I have a word? Why? Not in trouble, am I? I didn't think they'd get in touch with you. I was worried they wouldn't take my application seriously if I wasn't in gainful employment. I thought it was just a formality. Uh, might, might I be so rude as to ask 
We need a new washing machine. And David's wages won't cover it. I mean, when you factor in food and school shoes for the children, then... I'll lend you the money. Oh, no, no, no Roy, I couldn't. No, how much is it? No, it's very kind of you, but... Look, I... These payday loans people, they prey on the vulnerable. I really insist that you don't do that. How much would you like? £3,000. The medium. I know what you're going to say, and I don't want to hear it. You have no idea what my family's been going through. Not just now, but for years. I need to do this, Roy. Whatever cloud's hanging over me, I want it gone. I understand. I've arranged to meet her later. It's a lot of money, I know. But if I can't get a loan, then I'll pull my wedding rings. She's a fraud. Maybe she is. But in my head, it makes a lot more sense than most things in this world. And if I can persuade myself that whatever curse that's been put on me has been lifted, then it'll be worth every penny. I'll lend you the money. What? On the condition that I come with you. And if she can give me one single detail that I believe, I'll give her the money myself. I don't know what to say. What on? You got visitors? Uh, just one, yeah. Rosemary. The medium? Yes. Uh, I noticed she got a sweet too, so I thought it... Uh, might help her do a job if she's got a nice cake inside. Oh, and uh, you really believe there's anything in all that? Well, I hope there is. Pray there is. Don't know who else to turn to now our family's being punished the way it is. Mm, tell me about it. I mean, do you think it's normal, what's going on, that I should stand by and do nothing? Oh, yes, yeah, it is awful. Terrible. But I just think it's bad people and bad luck. I know amount of talking to the dead's going to change that. Have you got any better idea? No. So let me pursue the one avenue that might put a stop to all this. So much for coming. Oh, it's lovely to see you again. <sighs> oh, what's he doing here? I won't be put on show again. I'm hoping Gail will see this for what it is. A cheap stunt. His negativity could send the paranormal channels haywire. Sounds like you're tuning a television set. Don't you see, Gail, this so-called exorcism's utter hokum. The mere presence of a sceptical mind. She's immediately defensive. He's only here because he promised to lend me some money. <laughs> the only reason she's here is the money. Well, I can't hang around all day. My diary's absolutely chuck a block. Please, Roy. You know, I wouldn't be using Rosemary's services if I wasn't desperate. But I need evidence that she is genuine. You prove that you're not a fraud, and you can have your money. Deal. <sighs> Shall we make a start? Oh. Hey, come on. I'm going nowhere. <sighs> Nothing. Wait. Hold on. There is someone. Richard. It is a man. No, a woman. No, a... A man. No, it's a woman. It's a woman in a red coat. It's Hayley. My wife. A fact that is common knowledge to dozens of people in the local area. She used to be... Harold. Yes. Again, factual information easily gleaned from a number of sources. Oh, oh. she's with another lady. Mm. Alma. Alma. Oh, give her my love. Alma wants to know if you're looking after the cafe. Oh. <laughs> We worked there for years before she sold it to Roy. Right. 
Halma wants to know if Roy remembers his first day <laughs> when he hid all the soul sellers. <laughs> oh, what a funny thing to do. <laughs> oh, Alma and Haley are, are very happy despite all their suffering. I can, oh, I can feel it. I can feel it very strongly. Oh, <laughs> Haley's laughing now. <laughs> oh, do you remember, Roy? She always used to sleep with her feet outside the blankets, no matter how cold it was. <laughs> this is macabre. Oh. I'm sick. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, Roy. I've got no control over who tries to make contact. It's up to them. Roy, are you OK? Please don't go. I'm sorry, Gail. I refuse to participate in this fiasco for a second longer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I think we've had a very productive morning. Oh, I do hope so. And we'll probably only need one more session. I mean, he doesn't want to hang around. So when can you come again? Oh, well, that's a trouble. Like I said, my diary is chock a block. Surely you can fit me in. Well, it might not be for a week or two. Oh, please, Rosemary, I'm desperate to get rid of this once and for all. Right, well, what I can do, I'm holding a psychic event in the church hall in Prestwich tomorrow. Oh, yes. And I've agreed to a couple of private sessions after. I could try and squeeze you in. If you could, I'd be ever so grateful. Well, I'll text you the details, Gail, and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, and don't forget to bring the payment in full. Oh, no, no, I won't. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then, love. <laughs> Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. I hear you had a visitor. Yes. And if you come to give me a lecture... Oh, she's a con artist, Gail. I think she has a special gift. Oh, yes, certainly. The gift of the gab. Ma'am, I have to get rid of whatever's doing this. My family is suffering and I can't see any other way. Gail, okay, lovey. It was awful what happened to David, but this isn't the answer. This family is cursed. And she thinks I only need one more session. Oh, and then what? Two? And then two more after that? That's the way she works, Gail. Oh, yeah, OK, well, let's agree to disagree. But I'm not standing by and see you get into debt. So if she wants money, I will give it to you. Mum, you don't no, have to do... all I ask is that I'm here when she comes again. I'm seeing her tomorrow at a psychic event. I booked a private session afterwards. And then I will be rid of Richard forever. OK. Well, if going to this thing is what it takes, I'm going to come with you. I'll pay for the session. And we'll get rid of this woman out of your life for good. OK? Mm. I'll give you my love, won't you? Yeah. Right. Oh, I'll uh, see you tonight, Gail. Yeah, see ya. Bye, love. Bye-bye. Everything all right there? Yeah, fine. Do you know David's lucky to have her to lean on? She's a good one. Oh. Not good enough. There's only one person who can help David right now. Help any of us. Oh. For goodness sake, Gail, yeah, Rosemary isn't the answer. And if she is, you're asking the wrong question. It doesn't matter what you think. It's me Richard's after, my problem to solve. Today, hopefully, if he turns up. Yes, if he's not busy, that is. <laughs> I didn't ask you to come. Oh, I am coming, all right. After what's happened here lately, I could really do with a jolly good laugh. <laughs> oh, So, all these people are gullible fools, are they? No. The world is full of grieving people, Gail, that are clutching at any straws they can. That's why I find what this lady's doing so despicable. You sound like Roy now. Oh, really? Well, do you know, I take that as a compliment. Thank you. Because Roy is a man of reason, and he wouldn't give this kind of thing the time of day. Would he not? And there's Cathy. I warned my uncle and oh. I warned him a thousand times. Mobility scooters and level crossings don't mix. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Gail. Nice hat, Roy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, Alex, to me. Don't want to be recognised. Why not? Why would you, of all people, come here? Yeah, I, I am sceptical, but, uh, uh, well, I, I didn't want people to, to, to know that I would attend a, a meeting like this. Uh, what Rosemary said about Haley intrigued me. I'm here seeking answers like everyone else. Well, I wish that everybody had such an open mind. What's going on, Roy? Trust me. Was that your toast? Oh, again. Where's she off to like a scolding cat? Yes, I know. Well, I'm a nurse, and uh, I was wondering if I could help. Uh, no, uh, conventional medicine doesn't work with me. But are you all right? Yes, I am fine. I, I just need some peace. Uh, what's that in your ear, old? No, no, nothing. It's an earpiece. No, no, no. If, it, if you must know, it's a, it's a hearing aid. I've never noticed it before. Well, oh, I only need it when I'm in a big hall. I'm only a little bit deaf. Yeah, only to the spirit world. That is no hearing aid. Oh, Kathy! Listen! Oh, my... Who's that on the other end? Who's been feeding you information, Rosemary? Okay. Stop that woman! Oh, Ross, help me! Get him off! I'm sorry, love. You're on your own! Oh, you're after her! You! Oh. Louis? Hello, Audrey. You're looking very lovely. What are you doing? He's in cahoots with Rosemary. He supplied her with all the information about Alf, Haley, Alma, Richard Hillman. He's the ghost that's been plaguing you, Gail. Oh! Gail, no! You wouldn't kick a man when he's down. Yes, I would, and I know exactly where. Tempting as that must be, Gail. Must leave the authorities to mete out justice. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Shut up, you. I might have known you were behind it. You need to call the police. You got a phone. <gasps> My bag's in there. Well, we're really going and phone 999. <coughs> Let Liz. me know. Is it an emergency? Well, of course it's an emergency. But unless someone's getting strangled, you get a visit a week on Tuesday. I had to dig my heels in, insist they come out. Where's Lewis and Roy? Well, uh, Roy went with Cathy to grab Rosemary. And Lewis? We locked him in the car and the window was open. He climbed out the window? No, of course he didn't. I just got too close. He overpowered me and he grabbed the keys. Did he hurt you? No, no, of course not. Lewis didn't do anything like that. That rattlesnake could do anything to save his skin. Did you get his registration? No, no Gail, I was in such a tiz. He got away? Yeah, I'm sorry. The name's Sutherland. I take it they've not caught him. Well, put it this way, I doubt they'll be watching the ports. I, I gave the distinct impression that apprehending Lewis was not their number one priority. Well, their resources are scarce, I suppose. Not as scarce as mine, thanks to him. Well, the good news is they will be charging her with fraud. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. I mean, she was the one that was doing the real damage. Well, I, I beg to differ, Audrey. She may have been holding the gun, but it was Lewis who was supplying the ammunition. Yeah, and Rosemary reckoned the whole thing was his idea in the first place. Yes, well, she would say that, wouldn't she? Um, my ears deceiving me, or are you trying to make excuses up for him? Oh, for goodness sake, girl, of course not. I'm as much of a victim here as you are. It wasn't you he was trying to fleece. It wasn't you he conned out of 40,000. I don't think you're being fair there, Gail. Audrey was willing to pay Rosemary off to protect you. I know. I know. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm, yeah. I'm really it's sorry. It's all right. Come on. You can buy me a drink. We we'll forget all about it. It's all right. What are you having? Oh, no. come on. You don't have to buy the drinks. I was joking. Oh, it's the least I can do in the circumstances. What circumstances? Thanks to Roy, I haven't had to part with any mother. Yeah, but... Uh... Look, I'll say it, cos I'll only have it on conscience if I don't. All right, go on. Well, there were times outside the meeting hall and in the cafe when I thought that Lewis might have sweet-talked you into letting him go. Yeah, 
know. Oh. I know. It's ridiculous. I'm the gullible one in this family, not you. And I apologise. Oh, come on. Let's forget all about I'll it, shall we? drink to that. So, what? g and Yes, please. Is that anything? Oh, you know, David always wants to deal with things in his own way. Well, as long as he is dealing with it. I feel guilty. Oh, yeah, that's ridiculous. Is it? All I've done is fill his life with terrible men. Gail, that Josh was nothing to do with you. And Michael was a very nice man, so was Martin. Mm. But Richard wasn't, nor Lewis. I didn't even tell David that he was all part of this Rosemary business. And more to the point that he got away with it. Thought you were off to the shops? Uh, yeah, well, I was way late. I'll see you later, sweetheart, all right. Oh, see you later. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like a brew? I can make a fresh one. No, Tom. You're early. Well, I can go out again if you want. Oh, no, it's, um, I've got a few things I need to get. I'll, I'll see you later. You all right? Yeah, I've, uh, I've got some nice ham. I can make you a sandwich if you like. No, I've had some. Another brew, then. It's no trouble. Just trouble. stop, will you? It, I'm just trying Mom, to... Mum, I don't want you to fuss over me, OK? Like I'm some sort of invalid. I'm not. It's just... I feel so embarrassed. What, cos I was raped? No. No. I feel embarrassed because I've... I've been so unbelievably gullible. Oh, you're not banging on about Illman again. Oh, please, David. I wanted to believe he'd put a curse on us. And Rosemary was so convincing. I mean, she knew stuff. And now I know why. Lewis was behind it all. Lewis? You're joking? Yeah, they were in it together. Some kind of scam. Please tell me he didn't rip you off again. He tried to, but no, he didn't. Well, no wonder you're embarrassed about it all, Mum. I mean, wh why would you believe that cursed rubbish anyway? Because I wanted to. Why? Because if someone else wasn't responsible for all the terrible things that have happened, it would mean I'd failed you all. Failed you. Because I couldn't keep you safe. What do you want me to say? You haven't failed me. A terrible, terrible mother. I'm so sorry. Mom. Maybe I'm I should... going in now. Mom, look, none of the stuff that has happened to us, not Kylie getting stabbed or, you know, what Josh did to me, none of it was down to you. It's my job to protect you. I mean, you can't be there to stop the bad stuff from happening to your kids all the time. You just have to, well, you know, you've made them strong enough to deal with it when it does happen. And have I? I think so. I could kill him for what he's done to you. David? I'm so proud of you. Well, it was the first time for everything. I'm gonna be fine. Didn't expect to see this again. I suppose you've come to tell me that my sauce is too thick or too thin or tasteless? Actually, it was very, very nice. So. I have no complaints. It was very kind of you. Oh. At tea? I can't. I've got a load of ironing with my name on. Who would think a baby could go through so many baby crows? You should sit on them. That's what Nicholas said. I, I like doing it for him, though. Very lucky, you know, to have your kids and grandkids around you. Yeah. I know. I mean, we have our ups and downs, but... Yeah, well, I'd give anything to have a set to with Todd or Jason. Nothing from Todd. Still, you, you have your grandson. That must be a comfort to both of you. Yeah. 
just him to get stuck.